Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Press Start TV. My name's Gage, filling in for Will this week, joined by the lovely... Lovely Nine. Lovely Nine, and the even lovelier... Taylor. Taylor. Uh, nice. Will couldn't be with lovely. us, so I'm filling yeah. in today. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the games of October. We're about a couple days out, so we're going to talk about October, and then we're going to just fully just kind of talk about Until Dawn. We've all played Until Dawn, great PS4 exclusive, and we're just going to just fanboy out about Until Dawn for Woo! a little bit. Um, so let's get into the games of October first. These are some games that are coming up, and there's actually a good bit, and I actually had to leave some off. Uh, let's start with Rock Band 4. I wore my Rock Band 4 shirt last week. Last week. You sure did. Last week. <laughs> um, so Rock Band 4 is coming out, and of course another game that's coming out this month is Guitar Hero Live. Uh, Same month. Still not sure about that one. Oh, you I guys play, played I, it. I did you play. and Will got to play it at E3 and said it was actually more fun than you thought it was going to be. It was more fun than I thought it was going to be because when I first saw it, I didn't think it was going to be fun at all. No. <laughs> so like, if my expectation like, was zero, what? yeah, if my expectation was zero, it jumped up to about 50%. Like, oh, excitement. Um, I think I'm still more excited for Rock Band 4. I agree. Which won our best multiplayer game at E3. Mm -hmm. We gave that award out they to you guys. They were super so. stoked about that, too. Oh, yeah. It was great. I mean, it was good to give anyone an award. Everyone was yeah, excited. Yeah, everybody always was like, yeah, thanks, awesome, so, so rock on. We got legitimate awards out there, people. Trust us. We're good. Um, Taylor, do you play any rhythm music games? Oh, I have. I'm absolutely horrible at them. Will you play well, you don't either two of these? Well, you have to be good. You just have <laughs> yeah. to have fun. Yeah, Nile's well, not good at any game fun. he plays. No, actually, yeah, well, I can yeah. shred on Rock Band. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I want to see that. Um, <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> Yeah, no, I uh, I played Guitar Hero. I really didn't get into Rock Band so much. Um, I just a different skin on the same game for what I was concerned about, really. But right, well, they're a little different now. Yeah, now yeah, the Guitar Hero is taking a new direction. Still multiplayer, and Guitar Hero is multiplayer, but it's only guitars now. You can also sing in it. Can you sing? I think so. I thought they said it was strictly guitar. I think you can sing in it. I gotta say, I really haven't seen a lot of people really go crazy on the drums on really? any of those games, honestly. Like, I don't know. I usually play guitar. I'm not good at the drums. Yeah. I like guitar. That's Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what I play for. <laughs> so I'm really I'm... good at the drums. So, I mean, she... Oh, you know, is that because you only have one guitar? No, we have two guitars. <laughs> what, I mean, it's more consumer friendly, though. Guitar here is probably... Cheaper. It what is cheaper? So it's probably far cheaper. It's <laughs> like a hundred dollars cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so do you, which one do you think is gonna sell better? I still think Rock Band Four will do <coughs> extremely well because okay. a everybody likes playing the different instruments. Okay. And b all brand new instruments again, which is great. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. It's still pricey by all means, but the first one was ridiculously. I think you can buy a bundle that's just the guitar in Rock Band. Did they announce that? I think they have that. Plus, you can just I mean, buy the game. Yeah, and PS4 and Xbox One, with the purchase of that other adapter, will use the PS3 peripherals and the Xbox 360 peripherals. Yeah, you don't have to buy anything. You but, don't want to. Just yeah, buy the game. Mean, you just buy the game. I think I'm more excited for Rock Band, though. Just I all like things considered. List. <laughs> Plus, have they announced how many songs are launching with Guitar Hero? Because I know Rock I, Band has launching with like 1,500-some songs. Yeah. It's absurd. Do, songs for days. I, have the, I don't have that. I have don't care that many songs on my, on my phone. Like, I have 800 <laughs> on my phone. 800? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's move wide, on. Wide variety of stuff. All right. Another game coming out this month, the Uncharted four, uh, Nathan Drake collection. Not Uncharted 4. Sorry. <laughs> you I guys, wish. Yeah, you wish. But I mean, it could have been. Yeah. Thanks. Um, Sony. So Uncharted is getting... I almost said Uncharted 4 again. Is getting their... Not remakes. They're more ports than anything. They're just ports, I believe. Yeah. I think it's strictly just ports. I don't think there's any graphical updates or anything to it, except for the new difficulty that they're adding to it, the brutal difficulty. Right. Taylor, have you played Uncharted? No, it's always a series I've <laughs> wanted to get into, which is why I'm excited about this. Sure, that's but exactly the same. This is the perfect reason to get into it. Yeah. I, I didn't own a PS3, and I have a PS4. I'm like, oh, hey, I can play all those Uncharted games. I hear some great games. Yeah. i got to tell you, though, if you start with the first one, take my advice and just push through it. That's what people told me about Mass Effect 1, and I did that, and it sucked. Except, and Mass Uncharted Effect 2 was 1, okay. you can push through in about 8 to 12 hours, uh -huh. versus Mass Effect, which you'll have to push through 40 to 60 hours. Oh, man, you should yeah. see my push through of Mass Effect, because it was just story stuff, and I didn't care about anything else. I was like, yeah. just, just got to get through this Wait, to play Mass Effect you, 2. If you can make it through the first one, then you'll be fine to play. The, the second and third one are exponentially better. I hear, I always, I, 
people have told me that these are just games that are big set pieces that have funky uh, no, gun controls. No, I mean, they are huge set pieces. Like, each level is fairly good size, okay. but the overall story is really deep, really good. Okay. And all three, like, kind of connect to each other. Well, so me and Taylor nice are plenty excited for that. So. Yep. Hooray. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, that gives you the beta for Uncharted 4 multiplayer. Ta-da. That'd be cool. Well, yeah, of course. It's cool. Yeah. 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 Um, another game. This game I'll play. What are we talking about? Oh, we're talking about Games of October. Of course. Yeah. Uh, coming up. I <laughs> uh, still, you know, Nine and Taylor here with Gage. With Gage. <laughs> I, I'm also here. Uh, the last game we're going to talk about during this segment is Yoshi's Woolly World. Finally coming out. Finally coming out. It's been out in other countries for months now. Months? <sighs> yeah. So like Why? June. I don't like, understand. Like Australia's had it for a long time. Um, I don't get too excited over platformers, but I love Yoshi I games. I really, really <laughs> want this game. This it's, looks so awesome. It's cute. It's fun. It's, it's got amiibo support. It's adorable. It's adorable. Like it's the most adorable looking game ever made as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> and I, I like hearing that you want to play it even though like you're a huge Dark Souls fan and now you want to play oh, Yoshi's yeah. Woolly World. You're like, well, Dude, you know, I'm going to have a Dark Souls. I probably Soul. have more trouble beating Yoshi's Woolly World than I do playing Dark Souls. <laughs> Plus it's co-op. Yeah. So, I mean, we can See, sit down and play it. That's, that's the thing that gets me excited is anytime a game actually announces co-op, yeah. Yeah. I, I can't... I, I love couch co-op. Oh, absolutely. Couch I mean, co-op's great. Yeah. And it just makes it more fun because you can actually like eat your friend and shoot him at something. Like You know, you can <laughs> mess with your friends all the time. You know, couch co-op makes me feel like games haven't given up their roots, yeah. too. So when a developer says, yeah, we've got couch co-op, I'm like, yes, people that still believe friends matter. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just selling extra controllers for the fun of it yeah, at that like, point. Yeah, what's really. the point? Well, that was the first segment, guys. Next, we're going to continue with our games of October because there's tons of them coming up right after the commercial break. Welcome back, guys. Gage still here, still joined by Nine Yo. and Taylor. This hey. is Press Start TV. We just got talking, done talking about our first half of Games of October. Now we have the second half of the Games of October. A lot of games in October. <laughs> a lot of games coming out. And again, this isn't even the full list of what's coming out in October. There's still other, like, I think Just Dance is coming out this month, or October, but no release date yet set. So, I mean, there's, there's other stuff coming out there that we're not talking about. We'll probably get to it on The Checkpoint, though. So probably. check out our podcast called The Checkpoint and listen there. On Thursdays. On Thursdays. Thursdays. Yes. Uh, so let's get right back into some more games. Mm. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Eh. Okay, nine. <laughs> what was the last Assassin's Creed game you played? That I played or bought? Both. <laughs> well, and the it, last one different? I played was Black Flag because it came free for 360 okay. um, games with gold. Okay. Um, played it for about an hour and I haven't played it since. Okay. I bought... Assassin's Creed 3 because Ugh. it was the, the the revolution, you know. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, killing redcoats, woo! I had such high hopes, and then I spent six chapters <laughs> just getting to the main character. I cannot tell and when you. When I got there, I was so disappointed. I was like, you know what, this game sucks. I can't tell you how frustrated I was with that four-hour prologue and then two hours of running around as the kid. Yeah, I was. That's I why was I like, quit. just give me the suit, make me an adult. <laughs> I, I couldn't do it. Like, I just stopped. I had to stop playing it. Taylor, so, do you play Assassin's Creed? I play Assassin's Creed. It's been a while. Okay. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this one looks so good. It looks good. I love the Victorian London right, stuff. Right, it looks awesome. Yeah. Jacob, what's his last name? Something. Piper. No, that's me. <laughs> that's me. That's my real name, now that it's out there. Um, <laughs> I was just starting out there. I don't know. Something. But him and his sister. Him and his sister look just, the character models, the whole design of London, the whole thing just looks awesome. Yeah, no, it looks the really cane. cool. The cane, oh, it's so cool. <laughs> and I play Assassin's Creed annually. I pick up all the Assassin's Creed games. I like them a lot. I like sneaking around. I like the brutality that it gets when you do kill somebody like you have to. And I like the settings. They're all great. I'm really looking forward to this game. I actually liked, I'm one of the only, like one of the five people in the world that liked Assassin's Creed Unity. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a great like game, it. but it, mine wasn't as broken as other people's. So yeah, I was people able, were missing like entire faces. Yeah, mine yeah. was fine. I was able to complete the whole thing. <laughs> um, I liked four. Too much boat combat for me, but it was good. I'm excited for Syndicate, um, so I really can't wait. What do you think is going to be the niche they put in Syndicate? What do you mean? Like Assassin's Creed three and four had the boat thing. Okay. And then Unity had the four-player co-op. What do you think is going to be the thing they do in in Syndicate. Is that too early for trains? 
<laughs> Train combat. I don't yeah. Know. I don't know. That'd be um, cool, actually. I've been because with a lot of those games that I play, like like hardcore like that, I stay away from a lot of the trailers because I don't want to spoil anything for myself. I just kind of I go in there and I play. I, I've never really had anything spoiled through a trailer, honestly. Or I just like surprises, you know. If it's a train, yeah, sure. sure. Why not? I, I don't know. Um, also, another game coming out for the 3DS: Legend of Zelda: Triforce Heroes. Yeah, that's the co-op, co-op Legend of Zelda. Yeah. It's like four swords, I guess, but a little different. With three people. Three people instead of four. Each one, each like le- Link has a different like Triforce power, right? Yeah. Yeah. One's like grass. Courage. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say that was really grass weird. power unite. Yeah. Until the the Triforce came into that, and then I was like, okay, that's that's fine. That makes sense. Yeah, three players. Why not? This won our best of E3 3DS game as yeah. well. So. Congratulations, Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. I don't know much about this. You know, I'm not a big Zelda fan to begin with. And I love Zelda. I just I, if I'm on my 3DS, I play. Anymore. Well, yeah, I mean, I play Pokemon and Smash Bros. You know, yeah. Getting to much else. Hey, I, I play it just for something else to play on my 3DS. I don't have a lot of games right now. Yeah. And yeah. Co-op games. Hey, that's Boom. awesome. Yeah. Why not? Um, so, not much else. Anything else you want to talk about about Legend of Zelda? So it kind of sucks that we can't talk a lot about Legend, Le- Legend of Zelda game, but it's, yeah. you know, it's not a home console release. I'm more excited for... The Legend of Zelda. Yeah, on the Wii U. The Wii U. Yeah. Yeah, it looks I good. I might actually pick up a Wii U just for that, or, or which we've said before, might come to the NX as the well. NX. Yeah. I may just skip the Wii U and get the NX with that. With whatever that ends up being. So hopefully we hear about that soon. I'm sure we'll do one of these episodes and then we'll hear about it immediately. And like, oh, absolutely. Well, there it goes. We don't have to do another episode. Um, another game coming out October. Big game. Halo Five Guardians. Yeah. <sighs> I'm excited. We played Halo 5 uh, Warzone. Warzone, which 83. was awesome. I had a lot lost of fun. lost my footage. Yeah, you lost your footage. <laughs> <laughs> I was so upset about that. Uh, we lost, though, so it didn't really matter. It we doesn't know, matter. No it was, was still that. fun, and, you know, it's the first time in about four Halo games that I've had fun. <laughs> It, but the, the multiplayer was good. It was fast. It was crisp. It was clean, especially for yeah, and it did, alpha like, build we were playing. Nothing on. I picked up or anything made me feel like I was uber powerful. Right. Everything felt really well balanced. And granted, this was just the beta, obviously. But if I didn't want to engage the player-controlled enemies, I didn't have to. Right. I could go after the the AI objective. They're like mobs and mobas for uh, power-ups that you didn't need to do anything yeah. with. You're like, well, I don't need to touch that. That's fine. That's over there. Yeah. It stays there. So it, it, it can combine a lot of cool aspects from Warzone. Taylor, you play Halo? Oh, I play Halo. Yeah. Um, it's been declining, but I don't know. I'm interested. I'll, I'll definitely play Halo 5. Okay. Um, I don't have high hopes right now. <laughs> I hear a lot of good things, but I just... I, I heard that they cut multiplayer out of it. Like... Couch co-op. Oh, uh, I don't know if there's it's no couch co-op. It's strictly land or online yeah. co-op. Okay. Yeah, that I heard. Which that. is a little depressing because yeah. Halo has always had couch co-op. And always. one of the focal points for this is having a co-op story. Yeah. Like, yeah. With the yeah, four, which is weird. Squads. So yeah, now, you just, played the beta a few mm-hmm, months ago, mm-hmm. right? I liked it. I still like. I mean, it's multiplayer beta, but I like it. You know, it's fun. I, I have a good time playing it. I love Halo. It's one of my favorite Xbox exclusives. So, I mean, I'm going to buy it. See, and that's the thing. is It's like I, I don't have an Xbox One right now. Halo is really the big title that I used to play on Xbox. Yeah. And I bought Halo 4, and I played that, and I was disappointed. Huh? And I don't know. I'm going to play Halo 5, see what it's like. If I like it, I might pick up an Xbox One. You should. <laughs> uh, last game we on our list that I know you guys love. WWE 2K16 oh, coming yeah. out in October. So excited. Oh, My yeah. guilty pleasure game is back once a year. <laughs> WWE 2K16. Find me online. I'll beat you every single time. I tell you what, I do love creating wrestlers. Yeah, that's yeah. a lot of fun. That's the only reason that's I play those fun. games is because the creating system is yeah. hilarious yeah. in those games. Well, that was our second segment. That's all the games of October we wanted to talk about today. Uh, we'll talk about more on the Checkpoint on our podcast, definitely. Coming up next, we'll be talking about Until Dawn, PS4 exclusive. Stay tuned. Welcome back, everybody. Everyone watching us online, everybody listening to us on the radio. I'm still Gage. Nine and Taylor are still with me. Yep. Uh, we just got done talking about all those awesome games of October that are coming out. And now we're talking about our favorite game of August. Well, at least for me and Nine, I think. I could I, say that. Okay. I'd have to agree with Taylor that. Taylor yeah. also agrees. We're talking about Until Dawn. Yes. What an so awesome, good. underrated <laughs> Kind of passed it's over by a lot of people. It's picking up traction, though. Yeah. What's that? Like, it's definitely picking up traction oh, since it's come out. 
Until Dawn. Uh, if you don't know what Until Dawn is, it is a horror game that plays out like a slasher film. Oh, it's so good. And the consequences of the game depend on your decision making. You pretty much choose who lives and who dies. In a sense, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's just Sometimes you may think you're saving somebody <laughs> when really you're not. Yeah, I, I mean, there are those because options. It's, it's so well done. And a lot of curveballs were thrown in. There was a lot of things that were happening that I didn't yeah, expect. Yeah, about chapter nine, I think it was, eight or nine. Yeah, that whole, that big. There was a giant twist that we did not see coming and we're just like, <laughs> uh, okay. Very, very well hidden <laughs> twist. Um, and not to say that that spoils anything, but I mean, we're not gonna spoil anything here. Don't worry, you know, play Spoiler the game. Spoiler free, just comments and speculation. Is it, this isn't a review, this is just down to earth. We're not gonna use that word. Speculation? No. <laughs> that we talked about review? before the camera. No, whatever, I'll tell you afterwards. <laughs> the um, dude word? Huh? The dude word? No, well, yeah, we're not gonna use the dude word. We use that word either. Um, this is just our, you know, Opinions of Until Dawn. We're not reviewing it. We're not being paid. This isn't being paid for either. We're not machine. We don't take money for stuff. <laughs> right. Um, so Taylor, tell me about your experience with Until Dawn. Uh, and it's more of a free fashion. Um, have you beat it yet? I have beaten it. So you beat it one time. Yeah, How I many beat it. Did you save? Uh, I, I saved uh, everyone except two people. I lost. Oh, he did way better than we did. We saved <laughs> three people. We saved three out of eight. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically four. Well, I thought I was doing horrible for a long time. Um, <laughs> Everyone yeah. just kept dying. Yeah, yeah. People just died left and right. I, I just really was just like, there were a couple of them I really wanted to die. There was one in particular that we wanted to die, and some streamers wanted us to get rid of. Yeah. They were like, do it, do it. Do it. I, <laughs> I, I, can, I can probably take a guess. Yeah. Yeah. The female character, we'll give you that. Yeah. 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 Okay. We don't want to spoil it. I mean, we could probably say her name. I mean, well, I'm sure we wanted her to. I mean, we didn't. We didn't say whether we did or didn't. Yeah. True. But, you know, we wanted Emily to die. Yeah, yeah. Emily. Uh, I mean, she can live yeah. or die. Uh, no, on yeah, I mean, you can save everybody, and you can kill everybody. It's a possibility. There's a very strict <laughs> rule for killing everybody, though, which we won't tell you what it is. Yeah, that's a little secret. Um, me and Nine played through all of Until Dawn on Twitch. On our, it was our, great. We streamed the whole thing for a live audience. <coughs> we streamed about two-thirds of it one night, and yeah. then the last third of it another night. It was scary. Oh, we got we got good. Yeah, good it was reactions. it was fun. <laughs> it was engaging. Um, I I didn't I was having so much fun playing that game, especially playing with a friend, that I, I didn't want to stop. I was like, we yeah, played I mean, till three yeah. in the morning. And, you know, a lot of people were saying like, you're playing it with a friend. Well, that wouldn't be scary at all. I'm like, no, we both were genuinely scared multiple times. Yeah. Play with your friend and turn your PlayStation camera on. Yeah. The only time oh. Gage wasn't scared was at the beginning, which he knew stuff was already coming. Yeah, I'd played through and three, three it, chapters it, already. It got me a little bit. <laughs> But then after that, we both jumped every single time at the same stuff. All right. Is there anything you didn't like about Until Dawn? Either of you? I, I was honestly kind of hoping there would be a, a little bit more paths. Okay. As I'm playing through, um, I, I really wanted my decisions, some of them, to make more differences. Okay. Like have a made, have like a larger impact on yeah. the remaining characters. Yeah. I can understand that. Yeah, yeah. I can totally. Get I mean, that. there's a couple of them where you know that when you make a decision, immediately how it's going to affect the right. other players, yep. the other people. Um, one in particular is with the gun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that, you as soon as you make that decision, you know exactly <laughs> what's happening after that. Yep. So it's just it plays out really well, but there could have been a lot deeper stuff to it. But at the same time, other decisions impact earlier decisions as well mm -hmm. yeah they compound certain decisions compound on each other and the game does a good job of showing you that too with the menu. yeah if you go to the butterfly the status the butterfly flecked page yeah, flecked. Flecked. flecked yeah <laughs> the butterfly <laughs> effect page you can flip through and see how each decision affects each decision right so. yeah i discovered that in my second playthrough yeah and just fascinated me ever since. That's we have one butterfly that we never even got a decision to make on. Yeah. Oh. It's completely grayed out. Like, no options. It's like, you didn't get this option whatsoever. I was like, nope. okay, sure. So we missed something in its entirety. Yeah. I, I tell you what, I've, I am curious which one you missed. The third to last one. I don't, I don't if you know go down, if, if you're doing it row by row, yeah. it's the bottom row, second from the last. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and look at that now. Yeah, so I'm really to. curious. I think I know what it is. Like from stuff you've read? Yeah, from stuff we've read. I think it's because certain characters at that point were already dead. Yep. 
So, so we didn't get the option. Like I said, I we've mean, only we only saved four people. Technically, four people. Technically, four. If if you stop killing the people, then you might be able. Well, to... Well, I was trying to <laughs> save people. Yeah, we I had was trying to save to as many people as possible. Them, and we didn't. And then I started doing things, and they just played out that they die this way. And I was like, <laughs> well, crap. <laughs> like when the one chick in. The, the mines and I opened the cellar door. I was like, oh, that's cool. I can go explore down here. Nope, I'm dead. Dead, right away. Just immediately. <laughs> no ruined. chance for survival. <laughs> so what, you recommend this game though? Oh, highly recommend I would, I would recommend this game, this game to Absolutely. everybody. Yeah. Every, people, even if you're not a fan of scary games, I mean, it was scary, but it but was it's like- it's a fun kind of scary. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's really just, it's so much more of an interaction, really. Yeah, it's yeah. very cinematic. It's like a, it's like being at the movies. Like this is how I want to go to the movies now. Like <laughs> yeah. I want to watch movies hands. like this. I want to do it. Like uh, yes, just... if you would like say if you would like Joe to go this way, press B. If you would like Joe to go this way, press A. Right. Yeah, they just have a whole audience poll. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who wants to be a millionaire? It's B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, no, I I thought until dawn was great. It should be checked out by everybody. Closing Definitely Wars give that until game dawn. a playthrough. Definitely played through. I, it was my favorite game of, Oct of August. I love Easily. that game. Yeah. Um, well, that's just about as much time we have for today. Guys, thanks for joining me. Um, make sure to check us out on Facebook.com slash PressStartVG. <laughs> on Twitter, <coughs> PressStartVG. Uh, or check us out on YouTube, YouTube.com slash PSVGTV. And Twitch, Twitch.tv slash Press underscore Start underscore TV. Uh, until next week, everybody, 